Republicans and Democrats gathered outside the White House today as President Joe Biden signed his $1 trillion infrastructure bill into law. News 8 Now's Emily Haugit is live in the newsroom with what that could mean for the La Crosse area. Hi, Amy. President Biden made his case for passing this bill over the summer here in La Crosse. Political science professor Anthony Chergoski believes that's a good indicator. Western Wisconsin will see tangible results soon. The bipartisan infrastructure bill is broad. You could have targeted it towards specific types of infrastructure, but to get everyone on board in a closely divided Congress to keep the party unified, you had to kind of give everyone a little bit of what they wanted. Covering everything from bridges to electric vehicles. In western Wisconsin, one main focus is broadband. How so many of our rural communities are struggling when it comes to telehealth, when it comes to businesses that lack high-speed internet. The pandemic revealed disparities in internet access. Chergoski says that made it necessary to dedicate spending to rural communities. In many ways, La Crosse is a symbol of the problems with infrastructure in the United States. It is not clear what will be implemented or when, but... So from a roads perspective, uh, before we look at new projects or adding capacity, we, we first want to concentrate on fixing what we have. Wisconsin Democrats Senator Tammy Baldwin and Congressman Ron Kine voted in favor of the bill. Republican Senator Ron Johnson said the bill was too costly and voted against it. Kind and Johnson's seats are up for election in 2022. Chergoski believes Biden's bill and his visit to La Crosse are all part of his party's plan. Biden's bet is that he can deliver tangible results to this region and other regions like us, and that that will serve him well politically and that his party will get rewarded for that politically. Chergoski also thinks that in addition to roads, bridges, and broadband, much of that funding will go toward regional flood mitigation efforts. Amy? All right, thank you, Emily. Now, it is not clear how much money will go to the project specifically mentioned in La Crosse. More details can be found on our website, news8000.com.